Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today. I learned Svelte, Svelte Kit series. We're going to look today at showing and displaying our comments from our API on a given post. We won't be adding comments yet, but we'll be doing that shortly. Again, I'm David W. Parker. And if you like this kind of content, go ahead and like and subscribe. And subscribe to my Patreon. That would be fantastic. Let's go ahead and look at our demo. So here is our current application. Uh, Everything is the same as before. Main thing is we now have, we have this posted by, as you recall, we have these users and they'll expand this out, but we've now have this, if you hover over the test, this is a test you can see in the bottom left-hand side, it goes to a new URL where we have the nice pretty, this is a test. You can see the post ID, the title, who it's posted by, and then we have a comment. Click on that to go to the user, click on the commented by the user and go there as well. That's the comment uh, body. So again, not pretty yet, but we'll make it pretty a little bit. But for now, just getting a little functionality going. So let's go ahead and dig into the code. Just made a couple changes here. Uh, the sign in is relevant. So we really only need to look at a couple things. The slug on the users, the only main thing I did change is I got rid of the uh, else return because we want it to 404 in case we fa fail. We have a new posts slug. So this lives under routes posts slug, very similar to the users one. And what we're going to do is in our load function here, we're going to grab our API. We're going to export async function load. This is all from SvelteKit, if you recall. We're going to get the page parameter. That allows us to get page params slug. We're going to go ahead and get the API endpoint from our session. This allow, rather than hard coding this, this allows us to have different environments and where, you know, if you want to have a staging, etc. And then if we have a one, we're going to go ahead and return a 200 or check for 200 and then return the uh, object with props, the key, and within it, the post JSON data. So this new API endpoint here has been provided in the re previous episode, so we now know we can get any given uh, post's information. Over here, we're going to get wrap a session out of our store and our on mount. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get the comments as soon as we mount this. Now, what we could do is we could do all of this construct and put it up here and load the post and then after we load the post, also load the comments. Or similarly, since we have control over this API, we could change it to include and load the, uh, the, co the comments. There's a lot of myriads of ways we can do this. This way works pretty well, so long as you know that your users have JavaScript enabled, for example. What I will probably end up doing is having a, an ability to have the initial load load with say three or five comments and then have a load more button. And the, the users can click that to load additional comments. They may be sorted by most liked or something like that when we implement that. Uh, and for the non JavaScript users, they could say load com or view comments and it'll go to a separate page that'll load all of the comments for that given uh, resource. In this instance, some given post. So that's what we'll build out eventually. But for now, this is a, a simple way to tackle this. So again, we have our session here. We have our on mount. We're getting our post in from above. And then we have a, an array of comments, which starts with nothing. We're going to have this asynchronous function here run within the mount, calling our comments API with some commentable type. We know it's the post and the commentable ID of the post ID. We'll get that response back and then set it to the comments. Then here you could see we have the post ID information, etc., and as well as the link to the user slug. And then we have an each block here. So this is again Svelte, not Svelte kit. And each comments as a comment, and we know we're going to have an attribute body within it, as well as the commented by. So if we wanted to look at our API requests here, we should be able to do that. If I go ahead and click on this as a test. You can see here's our API request. And this is what we're getting back from our API. And you can see it's 
uh, API v1 comments with some toast. And then if we went ahead and if I just made another one, you could see it's going to get back nothing. So go ahead and zoom that back out. You could see that is this body here where you know we have an attributes user of slug, uh, user display name, as well as the commented updated at. So you can click on those easily and get around. And then the other thing that you may have noted here is we added this little thing where it says one comment, one comments, or no comments here, zero comments, etc. So we, of course, we have the slug click here. And then down below, we're getting our comments count back from the this API endpoint, um, which is just the posts one without anything. So we can see it says comments count of one, et cetera. And count. This one is null, et cetera. So of course, the data isn't the greatest. You should never have a null count there. So I will fix that in another episode or behind the scenes. And then we could probably do a, a little bit of inflection here to check if it's um, singular versus zero or plural to add the S or not. I would do that in another episode too. We'll make it look prettier though. So. That's a quick rundown on adding and displaying our comments. Again, the main decision you'll want to make for your application is how and where do you want to load them? Uh, do you want to support non-JavaScript users or not? I do, um, but in this instance, I'm not. So, but we'll do that in a, a future episode. Like I said, I'll probably preload three or four, have a show more button that they can click, and then non-JavaScript users will have another endpoint where they can load all of the comments. So anyway, that's it for this episode. Um, I hope you like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks.